Hey guys, Carl's here from carlspositdrums.com. So, uh, I recently ordered a Mapex Armory uh, drum set as seen here with the gorgeous aquamarine finish that I can't stop looking at. Um, so, um, the Armory series has a cool kind of trade-in program with the snare. So it comes standard with a tomahawk snare, which is a steel drum. Um, and you have like two weeks to play it. Uh, and if you don't like the sound of that snare, you can do a trade-in program and you can choose from a list of four other snare options that they have depending on kind of what you're going for. And on the website, there's a description of each snare. Um, I went with the Exterminator. So it's a 14 inch, which is standard snare size, like six and a half inch deep, which is an inch deeper than your standard size, which is about five and a half. Um, so uh, I like this one better. As they'll describe it here on the side, uh, the Exterminator is dark, focused, and balanced. Uh, I am gonna open it up, we'll play it, we'll tune it, then we'll play it. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll get a sense of it. But because it's deeper, you're gonna have that, that bigger sound. Um, it is gonna be a little bit warmer. Um, and it's uh, birch and walnut. Uh, so there's gonna be a, a sort of a warmness to it, but it's also gonna project nicely. So it should be a pretty kind of deep, warm overall snare sound. Um, which, of course, you can change dramatically just by uh, tuning it. So, you know, whatever type of wood uh, you're using, whatever type of head you're using, those things are, are not as important as how you end up tuning it, but you can tune the drum to work well with the way the drum is built. Uh, so in this case, maybe cranking it up all the way isn't really gonna help. Um, you're gonna kill some of that warm um, feel of the birch. Um, so it, maybe it's just a good idea to kind of tune somewhere in the middle to get almost like a big fat snare sound out of it. Um, but we'll experiment with it, obviously. Let's pop it open. Take a look at this badge. I really like this badge. There it is. And the finish, really gorgeous finish on there. Okay, it's subtle. Very subtle finish. The Apex badge, of course. And then, as you can see here, tells you a little bit more about it. Absolutely gorgeous drum. Let's set this bad boy up. I really like this throw off too. Okay, it's smooth. Uh, you know, the ones that come out, I'm not, it's not 100% my favorite, but this one does feel nice and smooth. You can really slam it in. I like that a lot. And then obviously we'll, we'll adjust it. So let's see what we got here. All right, so all of their snares are off. Is that one off? That one's on off. All right, now all other snares in the room are off. So you know that what you're hearing is the real deal. Um, I know it doesn't look great, but I, I am putting my mic kind of as close to the snare uh, as possible. It's still gonna pick me up pretty good, and I think it's gonna get a real you know, clean snare sound. If I put it all the way in the corner of the room, it's not gonna, it's not gonna capture the real vibe. So I haven't tuned it, I haven't touched it. Uh, I gave this a little wiggle, but nothing crazy. So they tightened it, uh, you know, in the factory, but that's uh, that's about it. Now this is a 20 lug drum, so two, four, six, eight, ten times two is 20. Um, so you have a lot more tuning options uh, with a drum like this. Um, conversely, if you imagine a drum with only four uh, tension rods on the top and four on the bottom, you know, you would would barely be able to tune the majority of the surface area you're very limited so the cheaper the drum uh, the less lugs the smaller the drum the less lugs as well um, and then the more expensive uh, uh, higher end um, drums and a lot of snares nowadays are going to have 10 lugs on the top and bottom to give you a lot of a uh, uh, tuning capacity so if i had prepared better i'd have a key in my hand right now voila Let's find out in post how that jump cut went. Um, they did send me 
I'm Apex Key. Zoop. When tuning a snare, do you tune the top head or the bottom head? You don't know, or maybe you do. So we're gonna start with the bottom. Yeah, this is loose. So there's no point in tuning the top without getting the bottom some love first. So I'm just doing little turns, little quarter turns in the crisscross pattern, pattern of course. Let's put a little pressure on it. I'm not go going into too much detail about snare tuning technique because it's a whole science all by itself. We just want to stretch it out a bit. Good. Gonna be real gentle with the bottom head. I am going to go again. See, some of them are loose. So you want to try to even it all out. You can hear it too. The mic's probably picking that up. Good. So, just from that, now let's see what happens. Probably, it's gonna sound better for sure. It sounds better. Uh, before we mess with the top head, let's crank this all the way up. That one's super tight. So I'm gonna go down a little bit on that one. Again, I'm doing little turns all the way around. I'm more so feeling the tension of the head, feeling the response. I want them all to feel even. So I'm gonna bring the tension down a little bit, but overall, I like that. Ah, there, you heard that, you heard the difference? So here, a little bit choked, which is the perfect word, because it really feels like it's choked, like it can't sing. But then I lower it, there. Now it wants to sing, so now it's bigger and fatter. Ooh. Can you imagine I go to pick it up? Wham! So that's big and fat. That's a big fat snare sound. Uh, so what if I, if I, it's, I mean, it, if it's a little too fat, but I don't want to choke it with the strands, maybe I'll tighten up the top head. So the top head is giving, uh, is, is cutting back on that tension a little bit, but it's not messing with the strands. Cranked it up a little bit here. I tuned it up a little bit more on top. I like that. I, comparatively, this is my more like metal kit for heavier stuff. Listen to how cranked up I have this snare. That is cranked. So. Just a little bit. 
bit bigger and fatter. And again, I still, I'm just messing with it. I'm experimenting. I'm, I'm messing around. I want to find, I want to find a sound that's fat and poppy. It might work good in like, poppy is in like, it pops, but not, not like pop, like the style of music. Uh, I want it to pop. I want it to explode, but I also want it to have. <laughs> Rim shot. That's what the snare's off, obviously. Pull it back on. I like that. Let's jam with it. That wraps it up. That was the Exterminator, uh, the Mapex Armory series, Exterminator. 14 by 16 and a half. Uh, very poppy, explosive snare. I love it. I got it tuned down, right? Usually, you know, again, I compared it to my snare from before. That is a very tight snare. I didn't want to do that with this one. It's deep. It's got hard wood. It's got warm wood. Perfect for a big, fat snare sound. So, if you guys have any... Whew, Take two. If you guys have any questions about your snare drum, how to get it to sound uh, like maybe like this one, um, or maybe you have something in mind for your snare and you're just having trouble getting it, again, if you're watching this, most likely you're one of my students, reach out to me. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. Let me know. We'll work on it uh, in our lesson. If you're not one of our students, comment down below, subscribe, and uh, let me know uh, what kind of sound you're trying to get out of your snare drum, and I will make that happen for you. I will help you out. If you have to get a new head, uh, then so be it. If you have to take the whole thing apart and put it all back together because the tuning is so out of whack that it's just not going to make the sound you want, so be it. I will help you through that. Just let me know. Um, it helps me when you comment. So comment in the you know in the comments below, and that uh, that'll help me, and I'll be able to see your comment, and we'll talk. Um, any more questions? Feel free to reach out as well. Carlspazadrums at gmail.com. CarlsPazadrums.com and Instagram at CarlsPazadrums. Thanks, guys.